Welcome to our next webinar here at JFD Brokers. Uh, my name is Stefan Friedrichowski, as always, for those kind of uh, webinars. Um, a warm welcome in the name of JFD as well. Uh, and uh, let's see what we can do today here with JFD Invest Trading and Investing Simplified. Yeah, that's uh, the topic of today. And uh, as always, we will have a quick view on my uh, JFD Invest account that we will have a view on what's new because we have new strategies added to JFD Invest. So new opportunities for you as well. Uh, and you will see it's uh, really quite um, remarkable strategy, uh, which we have added, earning uh, 80% in um, less than one year, which is really remarkable. But uh, that we will touch later. Um, the date of uh, today, yeah, with the 21st of January. And uh, I have to announce that uh, today will be uh, the last one uh, for the next uh, four weeks um, about JFD in West because simply I will go on vacation. I will be in Malaysia the next couple of weeks. Um, I will start on Wednesday this week. And the good thing is, that's a good thing about JFD in West. Um, everything is done automatically at JFD Brokers. So I can still have an access uh, to my JFD Invest account. I can look around. I might even change allocations during my holidays because that I can do wherever I am. And uh, the other question is, do I have enough money for my vacation? Let's see on that account as well, because uh, that is part of my uh, budget for uh, my holidays. Indeed. Okay, but before we really start, you know the procedure, uh, I have to show around um, that um, slide here, our risk disclaimer, because we talk about trading. Um, so, we, uh, but finally, whatever uh, you decide to do, you do it on your own and you do it on your own responsibility. Before we really start, um, Let's have a view of how it really works uh, with JFD Invest. And uh, yeah, it's a great thing because it's a digital uh, wealth management and uh, you can do all the steps by your own. And finally, you act as a portfolio manager, which is really a wonderful and cool job. So you see, I'm already on the JFD homepage, uh, starting with uh, JFD Invest here. And uh, then we will see what's uh, JFD Invest about. And uh, yeah, it's uh, just about trading. It's uh, following other people's strategies um, by mirror trading, which means that those trades, trades of professional traders are directly copied into your personal JFD Invest account. And uh, I will go upwards once again later, but uh, you, let's first have a view on what's going on around here. So our top five performers are always visible on the web page here. Um, so the update process is done overnight. And you see there's a new strategy called Hyperion. Um, and uh, you see already some first key figures about uh, all those strategies. And here is just a selection of four. Later, we will see that there are 10 strategies um, for you pre-selected by JFD and you might follow those kind of strategies. We have already some first numbers here like return at all. So uh, then the equity balance deviation, a topic I have to briefly comment on every time. Uh, last month's result and the year to date. Um, okay, we are still in January. So those numbers can't be that high, but um, even though yeah, already 10% for JFD Invest Galileo. That is, by the way, the um, the highly top performer of last week. We just sent around uh, as in a short newsletter that kind of information. Let's have a view on that uh, briefly here. Um, and you see that uh, our last week top performer has been uh, JFD Invest Galileo, uh, which is really a wonderful uh, strategy. As you can see here, that strategy has um, 
overall since inception uh, earned uh, close to 70% um, growth, uh, which is really a remarkable number. And um, especially last week was a wonderful week for that strategy. I have to comment on that uh, when we look to my JFD Invest account, because unfortunately, I got not the same result in my account, but the reason is uh, quite easy to understand. There was no mistake by anyone. It was simply that I decided before last week uh, the Brexit decision or the, the, the vote in the British Parliament uh, took place. I decided to step out of the strategy shortly be uh, before uh, that vote just uh, to be on the safe side. Finally, it was a wonderful trade uh, for British pound US dollar. What uh, This is a symbol which is uh, traded by JFD Invest Galileo. And uh, yeah, it turned out to be a wrong decision on the one hand that I stepped out there. But on the other hand, I want to be on the safe side. So but we will see those results later. So that's really a remarkable strategy. Minimum investment sum is five, 5K, so that's uh, okay. And you see that even other strategies have earned quite a lot of money last week. Uh, there's already the Hyperion on that list as well here. And uh, finally, the third one in the top weekly top performer is BIP generator with close to 2%. Um, um, yeah. Uh, how can I get that newsletter? Um, just uh, send an email to support at uh, JFD, um, uh, just the, the naming, I have the naming right, support at jfdbrokers.com and uh, just mention that you would like to get uh, that uh, weekly newsletter, then you will get it uh, automatically. So it's um, quite easy to have access to that one, same as I have here uh, on my screen. Okay. Um, that was a question here um, in the chat, and uh, therefore, of course, that should be answered immediately. So we mentioned here as well the other new strategy, but that will be a topic later. So those are the top five performing strategies at all uh, during uh, since the, uh, September JFD in West is public, but uh, most of those strategies have a history which is much longer than the starting date of uh, JFD in West. But how can you uh, join that? That's quite simple. First thing is you will open a JFD in West profile. Uh, I will show you that's quite easy. It's just pressing um, uh, the button sign up here. Uh, then you, you open a profile, which is nothing else than something like a, a Facebook account. So you need your email address and a password. And finally, next step would be if you would really want to, to um, invest money in to JFD Invest, then is, uh, the next step would be to open a JFD Invest account, which is a special account. So you cannot use your regular standard uh, trading account because this has to be a special one. Finally, uh, what is special about that? Two things. One is the leverage is 1 to 100 because you're following uh, professional traders and that means you get the same kind of leverage. And the other one is, it sounds maybe disappointing, but <laughs> um, you cannot trade by your own directly. So you cannot open a trade euro, US dollar long. Um, so it's only meant for following those kind of strategies. Then you link both things together and then you might follow strategies as I do here and which uh, is shown every time here uh, during those kind of uh, webinars. So even if you have just, um, just want to have a look here, no problem, just press the button guest access, uh, then you will get already the first uh, uh, in additional information uh, about all those kind of strategies. So you see, first thing, uh, not anymore, only five strategies. You see already 10 strategies. And uh, the new one, Hyperion, is uh, directly on the top of uh, that list here with a little bit above 80% uh, return uh, since inception. And inception day, you can see here, is uh, yeah, 12 months ago. And um, let's talk about other uh, key figures here as well. One is, and that's a uh, very important one, is as always equity balance deviation. And you see something curious, or you might be curious about that. Um, you see that this number is quite high. It's uh, negative minus 40%. And what does it mean? Equity balance deviation of minus 40%. And you see that's the highest number of 
mathematically correct would be the statement the lowest number uh, was in that table that means that there have been temporarily losses so-called floating losses and those kind of losses occur yeah you open a trade and maybe for example that trade goes uh, immediately into the minus um, so let's say wrong direction not wrong decision but at least as the price went in the uh, next couple of minutes hours uh, into the wrong direction and those floating losses might accumulate and in this case you see oh yeah has been quite a huge number on the other hand what you can see as well here is okay that strategy has a high number here but it has the highest return uh, as well so it's a little bit as always when it comes to trading something like the equity balance deviation you might call your risk or at least it would be your your money on risk and you can see if that number is high in most cases the returns are even higher as well so um that's typically the higher your risk the higher your potential returns so that is one thing when it comes to your personal uh, selection of strategy uh, strategies you want to follow here is that you do really that kind of review process as we do it here within the webinars that means that we have a close look to the numbers and not just go out and say okay this one has the highest i want to follow you can do of course but i recommend strongly that you always have had a close look to those kind of informations uh, we 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 are really doing uh, quite transparently here that that you know exactly what might happen with uh, any strategy is not only related to hyperion which is the top performer here you, uh, you might do the same thing for all the other strategies because if you create your own um, portfolio here yeah then you have to know what is your risk because you are acting as a portfolio manager and that is exactly one of those duties of a portfolio manager to know exactly what he is doing and therefore i recommend always to have a closer look than just to see what the, the wonderful return here so let's do it so uh, even as a guest you can have access uh, to more information about that kind of strategy so you saw that I just pressed the button of uh, that kind of strategy and we see that uh, right now as we speak uh, there are floating losses um, because we see a difference between actual balance that is means um, trading account with all closed trades and you see equity which is trading account including all floating losses or uh, profits and then since this number is smaller there are floating losses as we speak and you see it was in the graph here already uh, the overall growth over the uh, last um, um, 12 months you can see more if you go press the next one the equity button here then you see two green lines unfortunately they are both are green but anyhow uh, let's go with a mouse uh, cursor uh, over the line then you see exactly that we have the, the balance of that account and we have the equity of that account and the difference is always the floating losses or if equity is above balance then there are floating profits and here you see already it's a wonderful strategy going north, 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 but temporarily we have higher differences between balance and equity. And since that kind of number is that important, we have another button here, which is exactly calculating that kind of differences. And that is equity balance deviation. And then you see, okay, um, there are times like here uh, with those high floating losses but on the other hand there are times with moderate floating losses and we later will have a view and another strategy with even slower uh, lower numbers of floating losses so it's now up to you you can you might say okay that strategy is too risky for me or no that strategy fits perfect to my preferences um, and that is kind of how you access uh, and how you review those kind of informations uh, we have here it's 
quite important to know them and then you are doing the right steps for your own uh, portfolio decisions. What we have else here is you can see the monthly return table, which is close to all green. Uh, okay, there are three months uh, with red numbers, and you see January is already a quite a good uh, month for that strategy. And you see some more statistics about any strategy within that table. Uh, you might be interested in what kind of instruments uh, the, uh, the strategy is trading. And that is um, shown here uh, under instruments. And then you can see, okay, more or less the strategy is trading DAX and Dow Jones. Um, there are minor trades on uh, US dollar, Japanese yen, and um, um, WTI crude, which is, uh, um, I think that's Brent. I hope I'm right. Yeah, it should be right. But most of the trades, trades are uh, in indices, DAX, and uh, Dow Jones um, only. There are lots of trades. So you see that the total number of trades is already uh, passing the 1,000, which is good. Good in the sense that what we show here is a, uh, is a um, trading account with a track record of lots of trades. That means there's statistics behind. It's not like, okay, there has been six lucky winners and uh, perfect account, and then we make that account here public. No, um, there's statistic behind. So that gives at least me uh, more confidence into uh, that kind of uh, strategy. So close trades, pending orders, you, we can't see, but later we will see if you have a JFD Invest profile, then you can see uh, that kind of information as well. So it's a wonderful strategy and looking already with respect to my own uh, JFD Invest account, uh, which I will show in a few minutes here, um, that strategy might be for that account a little bit too risky, but Anyhow, um, everybody has it, its own preferences. Let's see how many people are already following that strategy. Okay, we have already uh, four people following that strategy. You see here the minimum investment sum for a given strategy. And those kind of information you have for any strategy uh, within JFD Invest. So let's have a view um, to another strategy like, uh, for example, BIP Generator. Um, I think that strategy was on the top three performer list of uh, last week as well. So that's a, um, that's a quite smaller account, uh, a little bit above 2000K. Uh, let's have a view on minimum investment sum. Okay, that's uh, 500 euro. We have 12 investors following with a total amount of money of uh, 65K up to now. So mm, there is already some confidence behind that strategy. As we, uh, as I mentioned before, with uh, Hyperion, you see the overall growth over time. You see the monthly return table, and let's have a view on equity balance deviation for that kind of strategy as well. And then you see well, here we have a different kind of behavior. Uh, maximum number is uh, six and a half percent here, and overall average uh, should be around minus two percent. So that kind of strategy. Um, has less profits, for example, um, but has less equity balance deviation as well. So it's not that risky, but it's generating profits um, as well. But you see, there are huge differences and a little bit it looks like, uh, and that's uh, right, that it looks like that. Uh, the higher the equity balance deviation, the higher is the potential return of any strategy. That is a process of how to look to those strategies. I summarize myself. I look always to the return. I look to the equity balance deviation in order to, uh, to, yeah, to get a feeling of um, what might going on even in future. Although future might always be different from history, but anyhow, at least I see the uh, history of that strategy, and then you can do your own decisions. And I strongly recommend to say, hey, not a single strategy, let's go for a bunch of strategy. And that's exactly how I look personally to JFD Invest. And let's have a view on my investment account. And let's answer first the question of, um, do I have enough money for my holidays? Um, so you see, I started that account with uh, 10K 
in uh, September. Uh, that was the starting date of JFD West. Right now, I have a little bit above 12K. So mm, let's say 2K are for my vacations, uh, which is fine. Uh, I will use those. And um, yeah, you see some step down here and that step down uh, was exactly what I mentioned already that I stepped out with uh, Galileo um, for the voting uh, last week Tuesday I think Tuesday evening it has been um, and uh, therefore I realized so I, I, I um, closed some trades with uh, JFD um, Galileo because I stopped allocation. That means every trade is closed, and therefore I, um, yeah, I got some losses here. But you see, hmm, why not? It's fair enough here. Uh, still, I am close to thirty uh, percent profit uh, since inception. So since starting September, uh, I think that is uh, quite well and good number. Uh, let's have a closer view um, to to my account here. The good thing is you can have a view on your account same way than to any investment account. So you get the same kind of statistics like monthly return. Um, the only thing you don't have, of course, is um, the, the details like how many people are in your strategy. Because, of course, that's my strategy, uh, my own portfolio here. And we have the same kind of statistics. Um, we can look to the instruments traded by that portfolio and here you see uh, in a higher number of uh, trades since uh, September uh, above 1500 trades already executed and what you see here is really my net profit of everything I'm doing um, and let's talk about net profit because um, I have to mention that whenever you follow a strategy of course there are uh, fees involved, yes, and those fees, let's have a view on that, those fees um, are on principles of high watermark, and let's go for details, and then you see performance fee, 25%, okay, uh, fair enough, the good thing is it's high watermark, that means only if we reach new highs within a given strategy on a monthly end base, then I have to pay exactly that fee out of my profits. Uh, seems to be a high number on the other hand i have only to pay if there are profits so hmm, no that's not really a high number and let's see how that accumulates for my jfd um invest account my my complete portfolio and then you can see okay right now i'm at 12200 here and you see my overall return is close to 30 percent so there's something missing between the 3000 and uh 800 less here and that is exactly the profits but anyhow uh, i don't um, yeah i'm willing to pay those because still i have earnings of uh, more than 20 percent uh 22 percent here uh and that is a wonderful number let's see tomorrow let's have a look to my uh, allocation right now so you see i'm following six strategies um Invest, uh, JFT Invest Galileo, Hunter, Goldmine, BIP Generator, Balance, and PowerFX. So those strategies I'm following. Um, so what you see, I stepped out Galileo last week, um, Tuesday, but immediately after um, the decision, I think on the uh, next day, I stepped in once again because I like the strategy. Um, so therefore, yeah, I'm still once again in that strategy so those six um, are doing a good job up to now so investment sum is eleven thousand. Uh, that's uh, good uh, so i can live with that uh, because what i'm telling you here is it's my preparation to my vacation um, i'm looking in a way to that kind of table okay maybe i don't have that good access to the internet but anyhow I can live with those settings, with those allocations. I don't think that there's something um, urgent to be done. So why should I uh, interact? Um, so I will simply leave those strategies for the next uh, three weeks. Um, I don't think that I will do anything during my vacation here on that allocation and just let the trades be executed. And that's a good thing.
You don't have to do anything around. Everything is done directly at JFD. You don't need an expert advisor. You don't need any additional uh, computer for that. Everything is done directly at JFD, and therefore, I don't care about uh, any trading decisions, any trades. Um, they are yeah, executed by JFD, and then I can leave exactly that strategy as it is. So my summary for today is, um, okay, the balance of my, my account looks quite uh, brilliant. Uh, I hope that uh, you are already invested in JFD Invest as well uh, and that you have similar results with your account um, and earning some money by trading. Um, so there's no need here to do something. For me, after my holidays, of course, um, I will... Um, think about uh, investing in Hyperion as well, because it's a wonderful strategy, earning lots of money here. Um, but first, I want to see some trades um, during the next couple of uh, weeks, and then I do my final decision whether to jump in to that strategy or leave it as it is. So right now, I have a balanced portfolio, quite well-balanced portfolio, good earnings, and therefore, I can keep everything as it is. So that's for now. I hope um, you have enough information uh, for your own decisions. Um, if there are additional questions, uh, just send me or same address as I mentioned, support at uh, jfdbrokers.com. Just an email and even in my holidays, uh, I will make sure that, uh, yeah, uh, that um, it might take a little bit longer than you normally uh, have to expect for any answer from, uh, from my end, but of course I will have a look to that. The other possibility is uh, exchange my name um, by support, then you have direct access to uh, those other ones. Um, there's another question. If I follow a strategy, for example, with 500 euro, does the strategy scale the position size? Uh, yes, it does scale the position, position size, but I have to mention, there's always a minimum lot size needed for any trade. Um, and for Forex trades, for example, that's 0.01 lot. Uh, for um, indice trades uh, like DAX or Dow Jones, it's a 0.1 lot. So we cannot scale any trade further down. So therefore, then we use the minimum um, lot size for any trade. Therefore, it's always good to have a view on uh, the trading history of any account to see how that fits uh, if you use minimum size of uh, minimum investment size of 500 euro and then you are absolutely on the safe side but uh, that's uh, something you sh should consider as well uh, but that's part of uh, that review process when you do your decisions about what kind of strategy you want to follow at JFD Invest. Okay, that's for now. Enjoy the day and see you hopefully back after my vacation. Have a good time. Bye-bye.